Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you are doing well today. It's our first official tip video in the brand new house. I know we made the video showing you us moving in and everything. Today we're gonna be bringing you an awesome tip video that's gonna help you and your Siberian Husko just in case you're having some problems getting control of things. We're gonna teach you how to be the alpha amongst your Siberian Huskies. Now it's not something crazy complicated. It's just something that I need to go over with you guys. I've made a small live stream video about it but I should go further into detail. Now the dogs are having a great time at the new house. In fact, today we were dealing with the issue of how we're going to use the potty out in the backyard. You see this brand new house, it actually has sliding glass doors instead of regular doors. And if you've watched my episodes in the past, you know my Huskies hit a doorknob when they need to go to the bathroom. So we've been working on that. I'm gonna let you know how we're mending it. Also, the backyard is fenceless. So there's literally no place for them to stay connected contained if I'm not watching them. So I had to fix that as well. You're gonna figure out how we fixed that. We totally mended the situation. I think they're going to really enjoy it. Looks like Britney Spears is really tired. What's up, buddy? You sleepy? You sleepy? Is your sister beating you up today and driving you absolutely crazy? Hila is in a crazy mood today. Look at her. She's just like, I'm trying to let everybody know that I am the dominant one when it comes to this new house. And I'm just like, all right, girl, it's cool. Everyone gets your message, but gosh, your brother, look at him. You wear him out. You drive him crazy because you go nuts. Look at her. She's like, guilty as charged. All right, guys. So come with me, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out the top five ways to become the alpha amongst your Siberian Huskos. Come on. Let's go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So I felt bad about leaving the pups inside all the time. They've been looking outside being like, I wanna come outside, daddy yo. So I went ahead, I went to PetSmart and I bought that red thing that you see in the ground in the center of the screen right now. And it's a yard stake. It goes about I think probably a foot and a half down into the ground. It was really hard to screw down into the yard, but now that it's down in there, it's super solid, and the Huskies can run around the backyard as much as they want without being able to reach the water or go outside the confines of this backyard that isn't fenced, unfortunately. So if you have a yard and you're worried about your Huskies being out there, you, you don't wanna go out there every single time and walk them, you want them to hang out, especially when the weather is cool because right now the weather is absolutely amazing. It's really cold outside in North Florida. It just feels great to the Huskies. They wanna be outside. Hila's just been sitting at the door all day like, can we go outside? So I went to the store and I got him the steak and now everything is cool. I don't have to to sit outside here with a leash on. They are hooked up to their harnesses, so they aren't like outside free and mingling, but these are 20 foot cords that I have attached to the yard stake, so they're able to go pretty far out. I'd say about to about right there, so they're pretty good. I may upgrade it, get a bigger one, we will see, but for right now, this is the solution, and it looks like they're really enjoying it because they're just hanging out. So, we'll see how it works, and I'll let you guys know. I will keep you updated. Now, a lot of my viewers are getting Siberian Husky puppies. They're trying to figure out how they can control their Huskies, because you know, Huskies can be a crazy animal. That's right, doggy, that's right, you a little bit of a crazy head. So there's some simple strategies that you can put into play that will help you become the 
alpha over your Siberian Husky. Now, I want to stress, you should never be mean to your little Husky Rooney pizza. You know what I'm saying? They're super sweet. Look at this guy just sitting here sleeping like a little French fry head. It's not necessary to be mean or cross with your dog. You don't need to get like a switch and hit them or anything like that. Don't ever take a hand to your dog. It's just not good practice. The best thing to do to let your Husky know that you are the alpha is to do it with positive reinforcement, never negative reinforcement. These are five tips that you can take to make sure that you are the top dog and your little Husky pack while doing it in a positive way. Number one, I do this all the time and you can practice doing it when you're sitting next to your Huskies. Maybe you come up to your Husky and you pet them sometimes, right? You're petting them on the head and you're saying, good boy, take your hand and put it over their muzzle just like that. You don't have to push down hard. It doesn't need to be aggressive. It doesn't need to be hard. Just while you're petting your Husky, take your hand or while you approach them and cover their muzzle like this. Don't cover their nose holes, okay? And don't press down hard so that they're injuring themselves. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to hurt your puppy. All you're doing to them is communicating to them in a doggy way that, hey, I am the boss. So just go up to your dog every once in a while, pet them on the head, scratch them on the nose, and maybe put your hand around their muzzle. They will let you do it. They're not going to be upset about it. Look, you see how Britney Spears is just chilling there? Just put your hand. He's not even affected by it. When you put your hand around a dog's muzzle, it's just letting them know that you're the one that's in charge. You see, wild animals, this is how they communicate with one another. And if you want to research this, any of this information, you can go and look at people on YouTube who interact with wild animals like hyenas, tigers, or lions. And those people, they take the proper steps to make sure that they are the alpha in that situation. Because if you aren't the alpha with a wild animal like a lion, then you're probably the prey. So one of the most important things, like I said, is to approach your dog, give them a little bit of cuddles, and then take your hand and just put it over their muzzle. Only for a few seconds, guys. You don't need to do it over and over and over throughout the day. Just a couple times a day, a few times a week is enough to let your dog know that you are in charge. Here's an example, and we'll do it with Gila. Just scratch her on the head, and then take your hand right there. Yeah, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. See, she's not upset that I did it, but I'm letting her know, hey. Good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. That simple step is really going to put you in the position to take up the alpha amongst your huskies. Let's go to tip number two. All right, when we're talking about physical stuff, tip number two is also going to be physical. There's another place where your dogs feel extremely vulnerable and you can take advantage of that. Now, as I said in the last tip, please make sure you're not doing this violently. This isn't an aggressive act. It's something that you do while you're petting your doggos. So while your dog is sitting there sleeping, just like Britney Spears is right now, you're going to go up and you're going to start petting them, right? This spot right here, where your dog's hip meets their back, this is an incredibly sensitive spot. Look, he's already like, why are you touching me there? All right, you don't need to touch there very much. You can just pet your dog, okay? Come over here, get into a position to where you can kind of like pet their back and things, and then put your hand right there on their hip. Kind of put your hand, you know, a little bit right there to let them know, hey, you know, this is me taking control of you. This also is good to desensitize your puppies. If you have a little puppy, you want to get your hand, kind of put it where their hip muscle meets their back. Don't be hard about it. Like I said, I feel like I have to stress this and I don't want anybody to do something very irresponsible here, but just take your hand, kind of cup their hip muscle. I'm controlling this situation and you're learning to trust that I am not going to hurt you or do anything bad when my hand is in a spot that this dog frankly feels very vulnerable in. While this is going to establish you as the alpha, it's also going to help you build trust between you and your husky. They're gonna be able to trust you to touch them wherever and whenever, and they're not afraid or scared that you're going to hurt them or harm them. So these two steps, the muzzle, just softly grab it, the hip, softly squeeze it and these two small practices really let your husky know that you are the alpha now there's a few more steps that aren't so physical and we're going to go over those right now that you can implement maybe if you don't feel so comfortable doing these first two ones so let's get to it now this next tip is extremely important i have to explain this to a lot of people because a lot of people don't really agree with speaking hi 
or speaking low when it comes to your doggo. Now these are very important tips because it lets your dog know when they're doing something correctly and when they're doing something incorrectly. A lot of people interpret it, that's right lady, a lot of people interpret it that if you speak with a low, harsh voice, that you're being mean to your dog, but that's not necessarily true. A lot of people think if you're speaking high with a high voice, that you're being way too nice to your dog. That's also not true. These high and low tones, all they do for your dog is let them know when you are either A, satisfied, or B, dissatisfied. So you don't have to yell at your dog, you don't have to scream, you don't have to scare them at all. But one thing I do insist that you implement if you wanna be the alpha, and this is tip number three, is use a low voice and a high voice when you're commanding your dogs. Now, let's say you want to get control of the situation, okay? Let's say your dogs are going out of control and they're driving you nuts. What you're gonna do is you're gonna say, hey, stop, but not like that. You're gonna say, hey, stop. And look, both the dogs are kinda like focused on me right now. They're like, what's going on? Is, is something or someone in trouble? The low voice is not to scare them. It's not to make them feel like they're gonna be hurt. That's not the point. And trust me, people will say over and over and over again, don't be loud to your dog, it's not good. You don't have to scream at them, but a low, loud voice is something that really takes your dog's attention and focuses it on you. If you are passionate about being the alpha, a amongst your Siberian Huskies, this is something that you should implement. Now, I love my Huskies and I always treat them with the utmost respect. But sometimes when they're not doing things correctly, I have to lower my voice and then they automatically stop, okay? This is something that you should implement. It's not a bad tool. If you don't wanna implement this, as I said, there are two other steps that we can implement, but using all five of these steps, but using all five of these steps together is basically a surefire plan to become the alpha amongst not only Siberian Huskies, but any dog as well. So if you are comfortable using all of the methods here, feel free, it's going to progress you so much faster when you use them all as opposed to picking and choosing between the five I give you tonight. On to tip number four. Tip number four is going to be standing up straight. Now I know a lot of you think this might be crazy, standing up straight is very important. A lot of people these days, they like to slouch over. They kind of bend down and get on their dog's level. Don't do that. A, don't get down to your dog's level, and B, don't invite your dog up to your level. I know you want to get down and kiss your dog and hug them and love them because they're the most cuddly thing in the world, but let me say this. The more you get down on the ground and bring yourself to your Husky's level, the more you are inviting them to challenge your alpha position. Now, it's fine to get down on your knees every once in a while, love on your dog, let them sit in your arms or your bed every once in a while. It's totally okay and reasonable to do that. But when you're trying to establish who is the dominant person in the household, you need to remember standing up straight and always standing above them is what's gonna let your dogs know that you are the king. Just remember that. That is a very powerful tool. If you don't want to physically touch your animals to establish an alpha position, if you don't want to use your voice to establish an alpha position, then make sure that you are always standing up straight, keeping a higher elevation than your huskies, and this will assure you are the alpha in the household. Let's move on to the final tip to becoming the alpha in your house. Are you ready for it? It's super easy, it's super simple. Crate train your doggos, all right? This is something I'm gonna make a big video on. I'm gonna help you guys figure out how to properly crate train your puppies. I know so many of you have come to the channel talking about how you just got a Siberian Husky puppy. You're trying to crate train them. It's extremely difficult, I know. But crate training is going to really help you establish your dominance, especially when you have a Husky. Once your Husky is crate trained, they'll basically have this own little area of the house that they call their own. And you'll be able to 
implement that crate to issue timeouts. Let's say your dog does something bad that you really don't agree with. Timeouts are a great way to implement punishments. You never wanna take a hand or a roll of paper to your dog, that's never good. When you have a crate, you can put your dog in a timeout. And these timeouts help to establish like the rest of the tips here to become an alpha dog because your husky will now have their own territory in the house and once you establish that their territory is the crate something that you control as the alpha this really helps set in stone that you are the one calling all the shots now i really encourage you to implement all five of these strategies into your day-to-day -day lives with your huskies make sure you get them crate trained make sure you're desensitizing them in the proper locations using proper voices like low when they're doing something bad, high when they're doing something really, really good, and that way they're gonna know you are an awesome leader. That's basically what it's about. You wanna be an effective communicator. You wanna be a great leader, and once your dogs know that you can pull that off, well, you're gonna be the alpha. They're gonna trust you to do anything, and that is what it's all about. Effective communication. You know what I'm talking about? I hope these five tips Tips helped you out. Of course, as always, if you have any comments, you can leave them right below. I'm going to answer every single one and help you guys out as much as I can can. I know becoming the alpha in your household can be very difficult. It's not something that's super simple and it does take patience and practice. But with these simple steps, you should be able in no time to become the king of your domain. So guys, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. We really appreciate all the new subscribers, all the new views, all the comments. You guys are so awesome. The Husky community is so strong and it's so apparent through all of the support you guys bring to the channel every single day. So I have to thank you, me and Britney Spears and Gila, even though we're all being lazy butts, we gotta say thank you to every single one of you who come out here, hit that like button every single day and show your support. So as always guys, thanks so much for sticking with us. Thanks so much for hanging out. We love you guys so much and we will see you next time and yup another episode of whatever we make peace let me boop that little nose